Definitely never a dull moment in the scrap business. Let me show you what our team over at the other location had to deal with today. Some guy decided to ride his four-wheeler up to the yard to try to sell some scrap, and he was pulling this trailer, and somehow he ran off the road and into our fence. After running off the road and into the fence, instead of stopping, he continued to gun his four-wheeler in forward and reverse, trying to get unstuck, and just absolutely destroying the fence. They could actually hear it from inside of our office. They went out there to see what was going on and asked him to stop, and he proceeded to start yelling and cussing at them because they weren't helping him. And of course, when it happened, if he would have just came up to the office and said he made a mistake and he slid off the road and into our fence and asked if we could help him get his four-wheeler and his trailer back out of the ditch, that way he wouldn't tear up our fence, we would have been more than happy to do so. But because he wanted to act in a threatening manner, they called me concerned and I had no decision but to tell them to call the police. So they came down there and had to handle the situation. Ultimately, no charges were pressed or anything like that because he didn't intend to do it, although he definitely intended once he got stuck and just continued to tear it apart. But I did ultimately trespass him from the property and told him that he was no longer welcome back. But it's just crazy to me how people will act. Even when the police were there, he was acting a little bit aggressive and telling the police that it was our fault because we weren't willing to help him. And of course, that's just not the case because at that point, there was no way of helping him. And we weren't going to stay out there and try to help him when he was acting aggressive. Honestly, what upsets me more than the fence being torn up is just how he acted aggressive and threatening. At the end of the day, we just won't have time for those things and we're not going to deal with it. So if you want to come here and act that way, you just won't be welcome back. But anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys that little story of something we had to deal with today. At the end of the day, we're just going to fix the fence and move on with life. And then hopefully we won't have to deal with that guy anymore.